Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to make this little cute Mamekoma, a baby seal character from Japan. Uh, first I have to say that everything in this video is going to be the same except me talking a little bit. And since I'm not a native English speaker, so if my accent's hurting you or you feel annoyed by my voice, feel free, feel free to mute the sound and open your favorite music. Okay, uh, let's get started. We're gonna start our first round with six single crochet into a circle. I will do a slip stitch and then second change and we will do six single crochet into the first chain here. You can do magic ring or adjustable rings as long as you finish your first round with a circle of six single crochet. One, two, um, is it three, four, five, six. Okay. And pull tight. Okay, and slip stitch at the first stitch here and slip stitch and one change and two SC or single crochet into the same hook that we do the SC two of them to increase the circle so one, two, yeah. and repeat, and we repeat it all around. So two SC into the next stitch. One, two, until the until the end of the round. And by the way, this is my spare hook. I lost my usual golden one, which is really sad. One and two. Okay. And this made a funny sound when I crochet. And the last one, two. And again, end the round with slip stitch, slip stitch, and one chain for the third round. Now we do single crochet, same stitch that we do the slip stitch, single crochet, increase, two single crochet into the same stitch, and repeat it. One single crochet, two single crochet into the same stitch. One, and two. It's really hard speaking and crochet at the same time. I don't know how I have to use a lot of concentration. <laughs> okay. One, oops, two, one, and two for the last of the round. 
you can see because we do the slip stitch so we can see the end of the round without using any marker okay and slip stitch okay single crochet now for the for round four single step single crochet into the next two stitch and then we're going to do the increase okay one two and increase one two and increase and re we repeat it for a total of six times all around one two and increase one two and increase Finish the round with slip stitch and one chain here. So I'm gonna make a small door, so I'm gonna start doing all of the single crochet into every stitch of this round, which it should which should be six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. So we do 24 single crochet for this round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And close the round with slip stitch and one chain when you start around. My yarn is tangled together. Next is round five. We also do single crochet all around for twenty-four, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, oops, 24, 
what? 25? Okay, let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, it's a total of 24. Maybe I skipped some work. And we end around with slip. Yep. Slip stitch. And one chain. And you start the next round. One more round with just single crochet. One. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen. I'm I'm still not familiar with this hook, and it's a cheap one, and I I feel like it's really hard to control sometimes. And the last stitch here of the round. One change. Oh, by the way, I didn't have any pattern with me, so I just make it up here somewhere. So, so mm -hmm. I have a picture of the Mamiko mat in a screen beside me, so I'll try to figure it out. I think one more round. Yeah, one more round of single crochet. And end around with slip stitch and single one chain, just one chain. So the mark should be around here. This round, I'll do. Hmm, we should increase a little bit. So it's twenty-four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So next round is round nine. In in round nine, I think we should do uh, six single crochet and then decrease. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Try to be in the middle. Four, five, six, and then decrease to uh, what the code that I used? SC2 together. One. And then together, yeah. And repeat it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and SC two together. That was really hard to pronounce. One. And then together one, two, three, four, five, six, and two together. And as usual, we end around with slip stitch. single crochet and then two together one two three four five move it near the counter and together one two three four five and two together together this hook is really make some noise and now we go for four single crochet and decrease I think you can see the pattern like six five four you know gradually decrease one two three four five and two together One, two, three, four, and two together. And one more round. One, two, 
three, four, and then two together. And slip, oops, and slip stitch. And then one change before before we start the next round. I think we should stuff some fibers. Okay, stuff some fiber. Fiber here. And how to say like. I suggest stuff this fiber like quite tight because it can hold like it can hold the door shape and you know when when it's getting old like you keep this door for so long it's not wobbly when the time pass yeah and stuff and make sure your fibers spread equally so like sometimes you crochet correctly but you stop it not equally equally spread and it affect it can affect the doll shape like here like I try to stuff into the right side more than the left side so now it's like it's not circle things so you can you know, squeeze it, try to spread the fibers all around. Yep. Okay. And we got this. Mm-hmm. Four, right? So now, now we're gonna do like his tail, his tail. So single crochet into every. Oops, is it focus? Is it focus? Single crochet into every stitch. So just single crochet one, two. Three, four. This hook really make a noise, which I don't know why. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Oops. Eight. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, fifteen. Slip stage and change. So next round is three. Three six. Uh, single crochet in the next three stitch and then two together one two three two together one two three two together Three and two together. And 
slip stitch and change okay let's crease it so we can see the shape of the door okay next is single crochet all around yep single crochet into every stitch it's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and slip stitch to end the round one change yep. At this point, you can put a little bit more fibers along the way when you crochet, or you can wait until the end and stuff that the last. Okay. And what do we do? One, two, three. Next is. Uh, Single crochet into the next two stitch and then two together. Yeah. One, two, two together. One, two, two together. One, two, two together. Slip stitch. One change. I start to look like a raindrop. It's like a big raindrop, which up. How to say this? Yeah, like reverse position. I don't know what to do it. And okay, at at this point, you you should stuff stuff the fiber as the. Uh, now yeah yeah you, you should stuff the fiber now or you're not gonna have any change after this so stop it now and then we're gonna close we're gonna close this and make his tail or fin I, I, I don't I'm not sure what it called yeah so this is gonna be two together or decrease all around Two together. Two together. And two together for three. And for the last one, we have we love we have three stitch left, so we're gonna do three together. One, two, and, and three. So we have four on the hoop, and then put it two. Yeah, this is SC3 together. And slip switch to end the round.
him the round. And squeeze it so the fiber can spread equally to the tail. Yep. And do not fasten off. You're gonna do the his two little tail here. And okay. One two three chain. Yeah. Three. And four. Okay. Four change. Four chain and mm, double crochet, yep. You're gonna do double crochet into the first chain here. So one one double crochet two double crochet mm -hmm. and three double crochet and then three chain one two three chain and slip stitch in the same place that we do the double crochet slip oops too small and slip can you see this oh, I forgot to look I forgot to look at the camera okay slip stitch okay and one one single crochet somewhere around here single crochet And then repeat the same process again. Okay, with four, yep, four change. One, two, three, four. And then what did I do? Three double crochet into the first chain, which is here. Oh, did the, fall, did the camera focus? Okay, I'm gonna start all over again to make sure that you can see it on the camera. So after we sing, do a single crochet here, okay, I'm gonna do it again. Single crochet, like put through the middle at the center point of the tail and single crochet yep and then four chains one two three four and double crochet into the first the first stitch the first chain three double crochet one two three double crochet and then three chains one two three and slip stitch slip stitch like slip stitch into the place where you do the single crochet or yeah to the same place that you do the single crochet or you can do like the side of the single crochet say so, yeah slip stitch in into the middle of the single crochet that we do and slip stitch yep and then Cut the yarn. Where's where's my scissor? Okay. Cut the yarn. So, no. Cut the yarn. And then fasten off. Yep. Fasten off. 
this is what it looked like you can squeeze it try to make the hole not clearly visible yep and, and I use a smaller hook to hook this remaining yarn inside the remaining yarn inside Our Mamikoma body system. So next is gonna be his his face, and then we will end it with his fin here. Okay, next for the face for the mouth, I use a light blue yarn colors and. And since the mouth is like, you know, oval, oval shape, so I'm going to start with two change, no, three change, one, two, three, you see it, yep, three change, and single crochet into the second change from the hook. One, two, okay. Ah, uh, at this chain we're gonna do three single crochet into the same stitch, so it can kind of turn a turn around. Yep, and then. For the next stitch here, next stitch here, we do two single crochet into the same stitch. One, two. So we end. So we end up with six stitch and slip stitch at the first and done. We have a little oval mock chip that kind of look like a pig we have because of the whole ear and leave some some length of yarn so we can use it for sewing leather and fasten off and grab the yarns so kind of like you know make it more pretty Yep, and seal. And stitch is to the face. Like, you kind of move around and find a place where you feel like this is the best. This is the best place for this piece to be. Yep. And with some help from a pin. Hold it. Hold the piece in place. Yep. And with the needles and we see we stitching it together. Like for the tail here, you kind of like push it back at the back of the of the work, so you don't have to cut it and seal around.
after you finish stitching this, like you kind of run your yarn inside a couple of times so you can secure the yarn inside. You can you can tie it, but I I kind of like you know just running the yarn through it, and I and I throw my doors into the lawn washing machine. Yeah, I throw. I throw my finished doll into the long, the washing machine and they all stick together and no piece, nothing coming off so I kind of, yeah, this is enough. You don't have to stitch it tightly. Okay. And next is... Okay. Next is we're gonna do the face embroidery. Like I have some embroidery thread and have tied a knot here. I don't have any special tip for the embroidery, so since I didn't do them much, you know, most of them just for the door decoration so you know just just run your trait and make sure that it look like what you want and the the that's that's one stitch that i really like is the chain stitch which is what i'm gonna do here and it's really easy to control but sometimes it's not Easy. <laughs> it's really hard. I don't know what I don't know what I should say here. Just, just try to run. Uh. Make a big smile. What I'm what I'm doing here is like you know grab some of the yarn fibers. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Try to make it symmetry as much as you can. Yeah. And like because the yarn have some you know, fibers here, so I just like a little bit of the fibers so I can control how to use mine just a little bit Now we have the smiley face. Make sure it's all black. And the eye should be around here. I think I mess up around here a little bit. It's okay. Okay, we have a smiley face. And then the eyes. The eyes should be like around here. Press left and right. So I'm gonna do a chain stitch into a circle so we can have a big eye and make him cute. Just a little bit here. And one chain. Oh, 
or you can use a plastic eye if you have the size like I don't have a small size plastic eye so I have to embroider it okay Make sure you make it completely black. And secure it inside. Okay, I just run my needles under the blue piece to like kind of secure the black yarn. And Run the yarn inside. Okay, now we have a little cute mommy coma, and next is a little, a little bit of pink yarn for his cheek, so we can have a pink cheek for increase the cuteness.
I also the same with the pink yarn, you know, just run it underneath to secure it inside and pull it out somewhere. Next we're gonna do his little fin left and right and then we're gonna fin it and then it's gonna be done. Okay, last part is gonna be his hand, yeah. So we're gonna do five change. One two three four five and double crochet on the fourth from the hook like one two three four so on the fourth chain from the hook we do a double crochet and we do double crochet again on the next on the next change and And done. Now we have his like his fin or his hand, whatever it called. And we leave a little bit of yarn for stitching. Cut it and fasten off. Yep. And we make two of them. <clears throat> We make two of them for we sewing it here. I think like yeah, here. Like you know the same the same roll that of your mouth here and Use the pin to yep. Also for another and make sure it like you know in equal left and right. Down a little bit. And we stitching it into attached to the body.
for the like you know the tail yarn or I don't know what it's called. So just I just use the smaller hook and hook it inside together with other yarn. Like you can you can just cut it off, but you know it's just it's a start point of the piece, which if we cut it very near near the near the stitch sometimes it's, it's loosened so I just prefer I just put it inside so nothing can happen and we're done with our mommy goma uh, a baby seal character I think I think Finn here is a little bit too big but yeah he's cute I like it and I hope you like it too and I think I'm gonna put a keychain to him. Yep, I've got a keychain. Yeah, now we finish. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. And as usual, the the link to the pattern, to the written pattern, is in the description box below. And yeah, see you next videos. Bye.